Hey guys, it's just a Cloud Eating today, and so this Monster Legends video, we are going to be going over all the best monsters in the game and deciding which monster is the best in 2022. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so all the monsters in this video will be monsters that have been released in 2022. So we are not including like any leaked monsters or any monsters before this year. Alright, so K911 is a support monster, and his traits are hardened, blind immunity, burn and ignite immunity, AoE drowned, and self pyrophobic shield so his rank four and five are amazing they're really really good but his rank three and one are just kind of bad and his rank zero is meh so yeah overall his traits are pretty good though and then his relics are mask and amulet which are also pretty good and now we have his pros and cons he has amazing elements in today's meta access to many great support skills he has a team negative effect move he's got damage boost heal double damage and life regen and he also has an aoe positive effect removal vulnerable aoe drowned and aoe trait disable so yeah all those are really really great support skills and he also has very low cooldowns and stamina cost he's got great overall stats and he's got amazing relics so yeah, overall this is a really amazing monster he's probably the best support in the game just because he has both ner and positive effect removal and he can also heal he's got vulnerable aoe vulnerable actually which is amazing so yeah overall just a really amazing monster but now let's move on to the next one Lamuna Iwa. Alright so Lamuna Iwa is also a support. She is going to have a rank 0 anticipation then rank 1 possession immunity, rank 3 freeze immunity, rank 5 control immunity, and status caster team random positive effect. Which I don't think is as good as K911's traits but it's still pretty good. And her relics are staff and essence which I think are even better than the mask and amulet on K911. And she has some amazing traits. She has access to positive effect effect removal aoe positive effect removal negative effect removal and aoe negative effect removal which of course as we said on canon 11 are great for a support to have she also has access to cold blood which is all right she's got good stats great relics and random positive and negatives so yeah overall this monster is pretty good but honestly it's not as good as k911 so we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next one the best support might just be k911 we also have maggie here which is another support and she she has fear immunity and harden, torture immunity, control immunity, and area damage reduction, and team evasion, which are all incredible traits. She also has staff and amulet, which are really great relics as well. She has busted trait, amazing supportive abilities, and ITT, which is torture immunity, ITC, which is control immunity. She also has healing, evasion, random positives. She also has cooldown activation, shock, and trait disable, which are really great. She actually has a zero cooldown, zero stamina, any are in three team NER skills. She's got trade disable and self extra turn. So yeah, overall just really great pro. She seems like an amazing monster. She has a team NER torture immunity with control immunity and of course that is AoE. And she also has a team NER with a 50% heal and a random positive which is amazing. She also has a positive effect removal with trait disable which is great. And she has a disabled trait with self extra turn which is really good. And a positive effect removal with team evasion. So yeah, this monster might actually be the best part. I do think that she is slightly better than K911. So yeah, Maggie is definitely the best support in the game. And then we have Voltaic the Redeemed, which is going to be an attacker. And he is going to have rank 0 tough, rank 1 electrified immunity, and rank 3 evasion. And his relics are sword and mask. So he has access to five different extra turn skills, which of course makes them very spammable. He also has Anticipation Hater, Evasion, and Dodge Area, which are all very good. He has a great move pool, Light Shock bypasses dodge area which is great he's got great relics and his status caster of course gives him a higher chance of securing a turn in a battle with his evasion he also has great damage output he's got mostly low stamina costs and overall good stats and of course his cons are anticipation walls him since he's an extra turn monster but he does have a counter to that and he has an awful trait besides his status caster which is very true and then if we go on down to his moves he has some great just spammable extra turn moves he's got anticipation hater which is great and he also has a stamina replenish which is really good and yeah overall just really great monster he also has some 
repentance stores, which are really good. And then the next monster we are going to look at is Griffiana Ironwings, which is the first ever ancestor monster. So he's going to have control immunity and trait protection, hardened, and true vision. And then his virtues are skill mirror and 25% damage boost. And then his relics are sword and essence. So yeah, all of those are amazing. And then we have his person down here. He's got broken stats. Awakened form is easy to trigger. He's got access to a damage boost and an ET to boost her already high damage. And then he has very strong metal skills and a light meta, which I honestly don't think that matters. And he has a spammable, very heavy metal skill. Great traits and relics. Virtues offer permanent, irremovable skill mirror and minor damage, which is incredible. Also has access to evasion, double damage, self-healing, and pierce, which are all really great, and access to blind daze and stun. Only cons are no tortures, and the pierce skill removes itself. And then if we go on down to his moves right here, he's got some really amazing moves. He has the pierce that removes itself with self-evasion, which is amazing. He also has an AoE metal damage with minor blind, which is pretty great. He has a self-damage boost with an extra turn which is amazing. He has a self 30% heal with evasion and true vision. And he's got a double damage with self evasion. So yeah, just all around really amazing moves. I do think that this is definitely the best monster in the game right now. But of course, the best support is going to be Maggie. And the other best attacker that's not an ancestor is going to be Voltaic the Redeemed. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. More videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.